Gosh, I look at the power of the PS2. It can play a pre-rendered cutscene. quiet. You know, why does anybody actually wear clothes? Why, why is he shirtless? Why are people just, just like not deciding to wear clothes in like Final Fantasy games? <laughs> is this some island nation? What's going on here? Oh my, well, I guess it may be hot. They're like surrounded by desert. Now they're angry. But know this. I have no idle hopes of frustrating that hate. Nor shall I ask your fealty. That is the due of your fallen king and rightly so. King Ramanas loved his peace. To bring you peace. His was a rule worthy of your devotion. Even now. Remains among you, protecting you. His ardor for the peace and will of the Mosca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together, let us embrace the peace his majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end, yet still its shadow looms over all, stifling the infant peace of all the you may cast off. Man, this dude sounds intelligent. Yes. What's going on, Kelly? How you doing, man? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For I am a pretty king. You shall endure my hairstyle. Well, it is party in the back. And the party in the front as it covers my right eye. And then when we go back to the in-game engine, I will not look as pretty, but I will look prettier than I did on the PS2. Someone also went out to the library and got some graphic design books and all... And also order the iPad for the, Ooh, fancy. The free pair of Beats wireless. No, no, no. Why, why, why Beats, man? Look, look. They're better headphones. <laughs> there are better headphones out there. But I guess when you're getting them for free, you can't complain too much, right? And actually, I imagine, too, now that they're being run by Apple, they actually are going to be pretty good headphones. <laughs> yeah. I'm not paying for beats. <laughs> I also have wings on my arms, but they do not help me fly. Because I love my vanity. I am so vain. Hashtag for the aesthetic.
Hmm. I don't know. <sighs> well, I do something. I will put wings on my arms. They seem to be stylish and talking like this. Yes. What? No. We just faded from black from here. I have no idea what you said. Yeah, that's what you want to tell the guy who wants to like destroy the empire. Gallo won't let me have an airship. Alright, <laughs> so let's just go ahead and cross the street here. Do 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 do. We'll cross this bridge. Whatever. Do 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 do. So let's see. I need to go all the way down south. Do 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 do. Do 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 and turn this back on so I can navigate my way around. Oop, did I miss my turn? Yeah, I did. There we go. Uh, speaking of graphics, um, graphics designers, uh, found me somebody yesterday, or actually today, who um, is going to help me try to create a logo for um, a project that I'm, st I'm working on. Ratsbin! I swear, this isn't like the most English game ever. It's so English, like they've got Indian guys in here. So, house. So, our so, the awkward stairs are over now. Let's action. keep going. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Ah, now that I think on it, there was a rumor. Yes. Mm, yes. A secret passageway into the palace mm, walls. Yes. A door and a magic stone that opens the way. That's it. This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. So, where's this, uh, magic stone? Uh, oh, I've had it for years, if I can remember where I've tucked it away. So, can I have it? Let's 
Sunstones with the power of Sunstones will use. That's where I can get Sunstone. Seek his plan, speak with the Nomad's there. You will find your Sunstone. Leave it by the soft gate and get things. Leave by soft gate, get things off. The village is not far. They're like, be beast on the plane, so be careful, my boy. You have to worry about me, I'll be back before you know it. Yeah, see what he got. I'm bad. I got that. I got Okay. Hey. This orange thing wasn't here before. I went looking for it and couldn't find it. Maybe because it was orange, I really kind of didn't pay attention to it yesterday. And now I can teleport. I'll look at a flight. So JJ Abrams got his idea for solar flares. I leveled up. Now I can wear pretty clothes. I'm going to be the prettiest of them all. So I've got to find her son. Pinello. Oh, look who's here. I could ask you the same, though the answer is pretty clear. No good. What? How you figured it? I just showed up here. What do you buy? Actually, no, let's pop this back out. Let's see, he is to the south, so... Let's go see first. Save on memory cards. Hmm. 
<sighs> uh, fine. Are you planning on dying? Why did you give your phoenix down? Okay, so they're added to the battle menu, not necessarily the... So not here. That's because I kept looking for it, could never find it. Oh, she's got the little same little sword thingy that I do. I think I'm going to go back and turn that back off. This is what it's further south. People just got money laying around? Hmm. It's still off ways here. Oh, there he goes. Alright. Alright, so I found the kid and apparently still hurt. So I need to go and take all the shiny away from those stones. No, no. the two energy oh man that was almost half That's just rude. 
That was just rude, dude. Clearly does not look like a hyena. Um, why they call that thing a hyena is not a hyena. Okay. Ooh. Treasure chest. More money. I tell you, people are just irresponsible out here. Dead. Or Pinello is dead. There we go. Too busy sitting trying to get all the pouches and stuff. I didn't even realize she was dead. Oh, come on. The other one had like 50%. Stone. Of course, I don't see one. Oh, there it goes. Got one. Where I was following some stone. Oh, there it is. I see it. I ran back into the village. I think I got lost. Treasure chest. All I wanted was a treasure chest. Oh shit.
my one hit and then I level up. Totally going to accessorize. to top oh, excuse me I now have a sunstone Kid. No, we follow him. Never mind. I guess we're going the same direction. All right. All right, cool. Yeah, let's just go. We did it. We found him. Yes. Oh, it will. We appreciate that. Hoping I can, I'm hoping I can get into the castle before the end here. I think I'm, I think I should be able to make it. I'm not going to be able to make it to where I was at the. I'm not going to be able to make it um, as far as I made it where we started, but. Actually, yeah, we'll go back. Visit the store. Venture back to Dalamasca. Who's here? To do there's a potion. Another potion, Rabbi Master. All right. Yeah. Okay. I can see where I kind of did not notice that before. Like I had been staring at it yesterday and just didn't realize it was a um, crystal there. It just seems like it just fits in with the rest of the game. Going down. Hey, yes. It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. 
Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Miguel. And Vaughn? But you said you had the whole day free. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. If something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Is that an interesting kitchen design back there? See you later. Bye. Sorry, Penel. Teenage love. No, leave your party. Are you already walking here? Oh, okay. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace. I mean, it did help. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Now the right takes on rats being rats being. Uh -huh. That's not the way you'll go. No. No, no, no. Take the left door. The left. Down into the Garansite waterway. Uh-huh. The waterway leads to a stair. Gotcha. A stair to the palace cellars. Mm -hmm. That's your way in. But Should don't go counting your kill just yet, my boy. Okay. Getting into the palace was the easy part. Really? The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. What? Saying right now, Gary, this crazy old man, it's gonna kill me. Squads three through six are in place, they stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go hey. now and hurry the others. You're still alive. Lightning? I thought I said Huli. Huli Quack. What's going on, Duck? How you doing? Just taking a break before we um dive into that um it says hoi. Hoi is it hoi 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 I'm terrible. <gasps> it's kites. You don't know how to read <laughs> I guess not. Are you ready for tomorrow? Summer game starts. The summer games start tomorrow. I'm excited. They'll find me an interest. I have to find me a way to play this game tomorrow. But um, definitely be streaming Overwatch. Ernest, dude. 
dude, what's good? Okay, I don't know why it's so hot in here. I don't know why my wife has to have things like fucking baking. I am playing a different game. I'm playing a game that I love because it is great. I'm excited because I skipped Summer Games last year. I was like, it was during my uh, I can't do Overwatch time. It's just uh... yeah. So I've got to explore this whole damn thing. I started playing Overwatch during the winter event. Winter. What was the winter? What do you mean the winter one? Yeah, he doesn't chase them. Which is weird. Uh, maybe because the gambit wasn't on. Yep, because now he's chasing them. I mean, this is why I love this game, because now I don't have to play. The characters move for me. This is great. I think it was just winter theme skins. I got like sand. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's right. That was, was winter wonderland. Because, you know, to be... You see about it, you can't really say Christmas. Like, I mean, you could say Christmas, but yeah, like a lot of holidays are being celebrated during that time, so it's not only just Christmas. Yeah, I don't think I got anything out of there. I think that was also, yeah, I th took a huge break from Overwatch, apparently. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Um, I finally was able to crack oh, crack the seal on um, Zodiac Age yesterday. I'm really enjoying this game. I cannot wait to fix this. Yes. I might revisit this game. I'm thinking of buying my friend Tomb Raider. He's looking to get back into gaming and has a PS4. Nice. Yeah, I mean... It's a very unpopular opinion to have, but Final Fantasy twelve is my favorite Final Fantasy. Um, solely because of this. Like, I don't understand. Like, how, how could this not be somebody's favorite game? I think 9 or 8 might be my favorite, and I think 7 is overrated. Uh, I don't think 7 is overrated. I think for what it did, um, like to me, that's almost like saying like Metal Gear Solid is overrated. Um, nope, 12 is mine, because again, because of this. You not see this? I'm sorry. How is this not anybody's favorite game? Like a game that plays itself. Um, okay, 
Okay, nothing there. But yeah, I mean, I mean, like, I like Final Fantasy VII, but I like it because like of what it's what it what it's um, done to modern gaming. Um, how we could actually have like fully three D, um, you know, like with polygonal characters actually could tell the kind of a story. Um, through cinematography, like as a cinematographer, as a kind of a, like you can tell a story similar to like a movie, even though, I mean, again, look at the game, it ain't all that great, but to be able to tell a game story that way was actually really impressive. I'll say seven was fun back in the day, but it doesn't hold. Yeah, of course, it's not going to hold up. Like Final Fantasy twelve, if you were playing the PS two game, it's not going to hold up. This is why we kind of need that Final Fantasy seven remake. It's like we've got this remaster, Final Fantasy twelve. Um, as I said before, playing this is how I remember playing the PS two game. There's a hold up. We also know the battle system, material system, storyline were awesome. Right, and like that's the thing. Like the way it was able to tell the story was actually pretty cool. Towards like you know you know Final Fantasy now as a game that's like super duper long, with cutscenes and this that and the third. Um, like if Final Fantasy VII didn't exist, like Final Fantasy wouldn't be known like that. You would know it as like the um, old super, um, SNES and um, NES games. But yeah, if you ask anybody now what Final Fantasy is, and they're going to tell you, they're going to describe Final Fantasy VII to you, and not Final Fantasy VI. Let's all agree, X had a great sphere grid system, but Titus is kind of annoying. Titus is the greatest character of all time. No, I'm just... <laughs> uh, that sphere grid system... Actually, yeah, that was actually a pretty good system. Um, it's a lot better than this one. I'll, I'll at least say that. Yeah, the sphere grid system is a lot better than... I mean, it's a lot better than a lot of upgrade systems, upgrade trees and whatever. But, um, yeah. Six would be close close second, though I think a number of things Six did at the same time was very innovative, especially once people started getting to the opera scene and were got out about it. Okay, I need to check out that opera scene then. I want, I want to see what you're talking about there. There you go. But honestly, though, I really wish the combat system in this game would be in other games. Dude, like, I'm not, so, and here's a huge thing a lot of people may not know about me, particular, not particularly. Growing up, my parents thought I had a video game addiction, or they thought I was teeming, I was like, breeding on, the, I was a teeter on the brink of a video game addiction. So, growing up, I did not play a lot of video games. I had an, I had an NES, a Nintendo 64, and that, and the PS2 growing up but and I did not have a lot of games for it a lot of the games that came out I mean, a lot of games that were available for these systems I had to rent like that was you know I was on my best behavior as a kid you know I got good grades or something um, I didn't as much as I love video games my love of video games came from appreciation of them because I could not play them I know 
I like to say, and it's, yeah, that's the thing. My knowledge of actually software is very sparse. Like, I have no idea how many games came out. Like, I still discover game like new games that came out. Like, I mean, I still discover games that came out for these systems like today. Like, wow, that actually came out for that system. Um, like, what? Like, listening to a podcast where they talk about old games. Like, wow, like that's a game. Who made that? What? What? Uh, you know, they could be really good games. Um, like I didn't find out about any of the Final Fantasy numbering issues until I was in college. I did not even know that was a thing. Like, the weird thing is, like, you would you would kind of assume that you know Final Fantasy VII was not the first Final Fantasy. Like, there were actually six others, regardless of whether or not you were in the U.S. or Japan. You would assume there would be like six others, or there were games before that one um but i just accepted the fact that oh final fantasy 7 is a cool thing didn't really regard it as a sequel and whatever um but yeah i didn't really get into playing games or video games in any i would like to say in any official capacity where i can actually just play them unhindered until i was in college until i was able to sneak which is sad as a, a grown ass man, I had to sneak my PS2 out of my parents' house in college when I was in college. Went home one weekend, found my PS2, and snuck it out because of the fact that any other time they would not. Um, okay, thank you. Um, I would not have been able to play, even in college. Just like it was insane, but yeah, like I started playing video games like on the regular in college so like my knowledge of video games is about the extent of like some kid who grew up with a PS2 um just like yeah like you know kids talking about man Halo like Halo like Halo like gosh like if they grew up with Halo like that's about where I am <laughs> like so I know there are games that before and I've played many I've played a few games before Halo but um, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's weird. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to hit square if I did. Uh, oh, you're just telling me I should hit square. Okay, gotcha. I'm going to hug this wall here. There we go. And we're gone. So, yeah, like... That's where I am, and because of that disconnect, because of the fact that I wasn't able to play video games, I did a lot of reading, did a lot of research on things. Towards like oh, the hardware aspect, like getting to know the technical aspects of a lot of these things, that's my strong suit. Games, yeah, don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you need any JRPG recommendation, recommends for SNES, PSX, or PS2, let me know. Okay, so that's the opera scene. Like that's also my Discord. Yep, I, I played Super Mario World at my cousin's house because he had an SES. That was the extent of my knowledge of the SNES. So let's see, I need them to come over here. Because the thing I'm looking for is past them. Hopefully, I can remember how to how how to do this so that I don't waste much time here trying to do that. Um, yep, so this is what I'm looking for. I guess I gotta look at my grandma raised me and she hated that I played games, but by the same token, she was too old to do much, so she allowed it because it was a free babysitter. Exactly, yeah. My parents, nope. Not even. Um, my parents would occasionally lock lock me out of the house so I wouldn't play video games so much. I won a game tournament through Blockbuster playing Donkey Kong Country. I did not own SCDS at the time. I just played it one night at my cousin's house. Um... I do, 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 do. I'm trying to think here. Okay, yep, I know what I need to do. Over here. 
so now that I've done it, I need to pull all three of the, all the guards over on this side now. Um, so I went to, so I was invited to this church, um, I can't remember if I was in middle school or high school, I can't remember, I wonder if it was high school, I think this was around the time where, you know, Hello. um, yeah, it's about high school, um, so I was invited to this church, this like church, um, youth thing. And he had um, had set up a PS2 and like a big screen TV. Of course, back then it was like boob tube stuff. Um, I say back then like I'm like super fucking old. Um, but um, so they had so they had a PS2 hooked up to big screen TV or whatever. I um, so they're asking like, hey, so um, anybody want to play? So I was like, sure, why not? Um, I think because I think they were offered to hey, who wants to play this basketball game? Who wants to play basketball? I thought it was like NBA Live or something like that. Um, but it was one of the other NBA games. I can't remember which one. I think this was back when nine eight nine was a thing. Um, okay, looking for the switch. I ain't got, I ain't got time to wait here. Um, so it looks like, you know, pick up the controller, find out it's not NBA Live, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, next thing you know, I'm sitting playing up against, I'm playing against the guy who owns the PS2 and the game and, or the kid who owns, or I guess the kid whose family owns the PS2 and the game or whatever, right? So, of course, we start playing, um, you know, because he owns it, like, you know, handing my ass to me initially. Um, well, I'm still trying to figure out the controls. Um, like, he gets a sizable enough lead. Um, so about, like, 30 seconds in, because, you know, you play an exhibition game, on, um, you play an exhibition basketball game, like, the course, for, like, what, four or five minutes? So, like, 30 seconds, you know, he's gotten a lead while I'm still trying to figure out the controls. I figured out the controls. Like, you know, started kind of playing a game. About halftime, I figured out his play style. Um, also, by the time, like, you know, because the gap had started closing back up again. You know, people were sitting there, you know, cheering me on. And I remember, like, there was, like, this, like, maybe, like, six-year-old kid who was just sitting beside me who, every time I dunked the basketball, he gets, he got, like, really excited. So every time, like, I get the most, talk the ball, talk the basketball, talk the basketball. Like, he gets really excited. So, all right, so, all right, for you, kid, yeah, talk the basketball. I came back and whooped this guy's ass. <laughs> and, of course, so when they were asking, like, had I played the game before I started, I was like, no, I've never played this game before. Like, I had to make sure, because, again, I was in a church. Like, look, I assure you, I promise you, I've never played this game before. Because, like, I came back and, like, really just whooped the guy's ass. <laughs> I got beat him at his old game. Like, you know, at that point, I realized, like, okay, I, I have a knack for this. Um, like, I'm not the best gamer by any stretch of the imagination, but I still feel like, especially when I was a kid, like, yeah, I could figure out almost any video game. It'll be great. Of course, I wasn't able to develop that talent and now when it comes to new games like I really it really has to be something that I want to invest myself in I mean provided you know I start doing this for a living and then I can actually devote the time um, I used to But, um, yeah, that, that's my story of, you know, my childhood. I loved gaming. I love video games. I just never could play them. 
and it's at a point it's at a point too where I'm, a little, I'm, I'm not gonna lie I'm a little jealous I'm a little envious of kids who were able to do this who were able to play games as children when video game was when video games were considered a children's thing I missed out on that um Mainly my love of video games now is sparked because of the fact that I now have that freedom to do this. Um, like it was something I could not do as a kid. Um, and I constantly let my parents know. <laughs> it's like, you know, fuck you guys. <laughs> fuck you mom. Fuck you dad. You look at some awesome and you made me miss out now. But... I mean, like, we kind of understand, like, I joke a lot with them, man, like, like, uh, when I got my first full-time job, I was a contractor at IBM, um, the first paycheck, with my first paycheck, I bought gas for my car, filled up my tank, which was the first time I'd ever done that in years, especially since gas prices went up, um, I went to the grocery store at lunch, and bought a Lunchables and a U. <laughs> Two things I would always ask my parents for, especially my mom. I would ask, us, look, can I have this? Can I have this? When I go to the grocery store, she would say no. So I bought them. And I took the picture, I took pictures of them and posted them offline. It's like, finally. Uh, I played a lot growing up and then in high school, maybe less. Then I got back into the college. So if you do get to the point that you can replace your income with streaming, you can go home and rub it in your parents. <sighs> not really, because I feel like I've already done that. Um, not, so not only with video games, but with computers in general, um, they felt like the computers were on my brain. Like there was no, nothing good would come of me doing computer stuff. Um, so going to, going to school for computer science, um, computer engineering initially, but then um, computer science um, they ended out. Like when I came home, showed them that I can write a program and I can make my computer do whatever I want. Um, and then like talking them into getting a wireless router and showing how easy, like how, how much easier things could be when nobody had to share a computer. Like everybody could have their own computer and do their own thing. Um, it kind of became an accepted thing. Like, my parents accept... Well, my mom... My dad can care less. And actually, my mom could probably care less, too, about the streaming aspect. But with gaming, especially with they see, when they see what I'm doing with Action Life, um, they're fairly accepting of it now. Okay, so now we're getting gaming stuff. I kind of made a joke, like, my mom. Like, hey, uh, guess what? I'm making some money playing video games. Isa, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, so they're going through some. Um, this will probably be here too. Um, maybe one battle with all the gambit stuff, and then I'm probably gonna call it. If so, change my perspective on all I do. We're gonna stop my solo. Hello. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, Edge Life has been a very, very critical point in kind of having my parents change, especially my mom changed like the outlook on video games to where my mom bought an Xbox One for my um, nieces. Um, I haven't checked lately to see if they're still playing it as much, but... Um, yeah, my mom had asked, she, um, like last year she had asked her, said, look, so I um, wanted to do something for the girls for Christmas. I, was like, I jokingly said, you know, you can buy an Xbox One, like four players can do that, and talk to, talk to her about Minecraft and stuff. Um, and yet she was surprisingly into it, which was amazing. Oh, am I making streaming a thing, but I wasn't exactly blessed with the gift of gab. It's... So I'm gonna say it's a little bit easier when there are people in here. Like, sure, this first hour, this like first hour and a half was kind of a bore. But again, I'm playing a game that I love playing. So, um, 
But um, yeah, I'm hoping to. You don't have to gab, and like, you don't have to gab. And like Major said, it helps having people in chat. I'm sure because I'd be playing games exactly. Um, all right. Yes, I've got gambits now. This will be fun. Oh, I should probably put something in here, right? Um, actually, I'm going to let you heal. Um, allies have less than 30%. Use a potion. View up. Um... You're going to be any so that when I walk around, if you see anybody, you hit them. Hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them. I'm sorry, let me stop. Um, ah, nope. I'm actually going to change you to 50%. You're going to cure. Because, yeah, I did not do that before. And when I faced a boss, that kind of became a terrible terrible situation for me all right so i've got 25 points i'm gonna let them wear oh i'm gonna let them wear some pretty pretty clothes okay so i've got to come out here and let's see he's gonna be a machinist so back back out pop back in Yeah, I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna level up his gun stuff. <laughs> this game makes my brain hurt. <laughs> I don't tell people what they have to, what they, what they had. I don't tell people they have to, but if they think about it, then give it a shot. Yeah. Just let me hit things. All this extra stuff is. I don't get it. <laughs> what is this? Is that board like the job? Yes, this is the job system. Um, it's called a license board. Um, so again, this is one of the changes that they did in the Zodiac Age. Um, or not in the Zodiac Age. So the Zodiac Age is the remaster of the International Edition of Final Fantasy XII. And in National Edition, they added something called the, um, like the Zodiac system. So essentially, this thing. Um where I can choose different job classes. This was not in the original release. Um, so let's see here. She, I want her to be a white mage. So I can choose a class. So this wasn't in here before. Like, And this is the one thing that does confuse me. I don't like that system. I don't like the Zodiac system here. Um, that Zodiac will. I like when they say, all right, this is your character. This is your board. But now I give them jobs, and they're stuck in this job. And this is why I kind of restarted, because I chose. I felt like I chose the wrong one. Um, okay. Chest for circular zodiac thing, assigning stuff, just why? <laughs> The dress, no, Aaron, get out of here. Just, just leave. Just, just leave right now. Uh, but yeah, so now this, so the thing is, like that stuff, I can really care less about. I still have to go in and do it, you know, to get the abilities, whatever. But the reason why I love this game, oh, hey, Katie Reed. Um, uh, yes, fine. Really? Uh, oh, bought the air. All right, so hopefully soon. Yep, see? And this is where it begins. Actually, you know, I think I might keep this going until we get to that boss. Um, uh, 
Okay. That go up the wrong that come the wrong way. Yeah, I did. Shouldn't have come up the stairs. Yep, now all I have to do is walk around. I want that chick's hair and ears. Oh, Fran? Yeah, I like Fran. Or is it Fran? I don't know how to pronounce it. But yep, so now all I have to do with the Gambit system is just walk around. Um, and like the, Again, the reason why I like this system so much is because of the fact that it reminded me of programming. It was just like simple scripting that all I had to do was just, you know, configure everybody to do what I want to do based off of certain conditions. And all I needed to do was just walk around. Um, this is why I say it's my favorite because like it's the one that enables me to be super lazy. Um, if I set up the gambits correctly for the characters, um, I'm hoping that with this first with this um, first boss fight, I won't have to do anything. Well, yeah, okay, sure, sure. We can say strategic. I <laughs> Ooh, sprites. Don't be lazy. I actually kind of, I'm kind of interested in this sprites thing you're talking about. You making a video game, Katie? All right, Arrow Dash, you take care, man. Thank you for stopping through. Ooh, Katie's making a video game. I'm going to play the video game, Katie. Yep, see, now when I fall to a certain health, um, Fran heals me. And we keep going. Ooh, there's a treasure here. I got a potion. But the game is very early in the development process. Just figured out what the backstory was and then been working on it for about four months. Ooh, that's awesome. I, would, I wish I really had that talent. I'm more, I'm more of a remixer. I like to take the original content and put my own spin on it, like streaming. I don't make the games, but I will play them and add my own personality to it by talking over it. So, all right, let's keep going. I gotta do these panel agendas won't write themselves. All right, Issa, thank you for stopping through. I appreciate it. And we will be talking a little. We will be talking later. So we gotta level up. Let's mm, do nowhere to put eighteen points yet. Can I switch? Oh, okay, so I can switch like that now. Um, Here, making sure there's no items. Yeah. All right, so I'm coming next to a safe spot, so it seems like there might be some action happening soon.
Yep. For as long as this is, I actually might have to split this in half. Either that or maybe I'll get creative and just remove the um the cutscenes from it, but then like it will one it'll remove the context and I'm pretty sure I talked through some of the cutscenes, so Thought she was dead. Ooh, you're cute. Oh, I love these guys. Fought the air frame is so awesome. Yeah, look, I didn't even have to pick up the controller. Stop him. I don't understand. Like, what was the point of any of that? Amalia, nice to meet you. There were others with me. I'm sorry. No. Huh? Oh, that wasn't that impressive. Don't get any ideas. I Man, shut, shut, say, hey, hey, hey. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Pretty cool, huh? You wanna date me? It's what? You should come with us. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Putting pets. Very well. What's wrong with her? You have a lot to learn before you even get started on your thievery. What's that mean? Oh my god, can I punch him? Like, he... I don't really care that much for him, I guess. You know, can we like not stand in the water? There's like stairs, just like right over there, like, just over there, behind you. Go, go to the stairs. So you had to heal me. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna try this for a second. Um. Okay. So, so yeah, I'm gonna let I'm gonna show this here and it's sure this might get me banned on Twitch as I've, I've said many times, but just watch me play this game. All right, so actually, Fran is blind. I do want to help her see. So there, this only interruption. But yeah, this is where I kind of joked that, you know, I, I it was either this battle or the one after it where I actually went to go make a sandwich 
and almost finished making the sandwich. Alright, so... Because I don't have any gambits for eye drops. Um, okay, so Amelia is blind again. Get some eye drops. It seems like Vaughn is just, man, is going around just like, just attacking random ones. Oh, got repeater on that one. So like one is down, um, Amelia is blind again. So like all of them are down now, so we're now focusing on the big bad one here. And now he's good. he's done. And again, like the most I've done was just to give eye drops. This, this is what I like about the game, and actually, wow, this is actually the first time, the first time that was non-pancake or silly related, where that second webcam came in handy. Congratulations. What's really weird is that after the second one, I don't think this actually shows up. Hmm, tough defeating style. Keep going. A dark moot. Oh, hello. Okay. Got a water stone. I'm gonna evolve it. We're gonna evolve it Eevee now. Two of them now. Okay. Nope. Money, money, money. This is it here. Well, no, not quite. Oh, yeah, there it is.
Now it's gotten a little crazy, but. And see so what I love about this is I can actually do it, all of this while the battle is still happening. Optimize here. Oh, excuse me. And then here. All right. Oh wait. I went the wrong way. Yeah, I did. Need to go this way. Don't get you on blind ones. There we go. Now I'm getting where I need to be. This is where the boss is. Save up so we can heal up. And I love how it tells me, yep, so this is kind of a place where you may not be able to get back from, so you know, we behoove you to make a new file. Wait a second, hold on. Can we go back in here for a second? Because it's something that hit, it, it hit me. These save files are 3.15 megabytes size. The stop memory card for a PS2 was 8 megabytes. Like, how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's, yeah, like two of these save files would only be able to fit on, um, on a um, PS2 memory card today. That is insane. <laughs> Just a bit of a history lesson, folks. I think I, I think I was, um, I was at least able to get a 16 megabyte um, memory card. And I actually had to, in order for it to work properly, I had to run a disc before launching a game. All right, so, because of this boss fight, I'm gonna turn on the second webcam here. So that we can um, see the action unfolding. So again, like, just the controller, and the battle's about to begin. Yeah, so I finally fixed something to where. Um, Fran wasn't healing like she was supposed to. <laughs> to where, yeah, that would have been more devastating than it should have been. Alright, so. I intervened because it's, yeah, this wouldn't work otherwise. Because there aren't any gambits for status elements. Yeah. 
Whoa. Oh, I was like, where did he go? I guess it would help if I actually did move the camera around so you guys can see that. I'll at least do that. On top of some status element stuff. Alright, so, ooh, three people have now contracted poison. Okay. Yeah, one more for Amelia. Amalia. Alright. So now we're going back to not touching the controller. Uh, except to, you know, fix the camera so we can see the boss. And kind of see some of the action. But yeah, as you can see here too, yeah, like, well, up to a point, Balthier was sitting way back in the back. Um, Fran is sitting back in the back, you know, outside of the action where you need your range characters to be. There he backed up again, so that's good. But yeah, so our range characters are the ones doing most of the healing too. So we want your healers to not be in the action. They contribute, but don't don't be foolish like um Van and Amalia. But again, nobody's died. I've not done any actions other than, you know, cure a poison or two. And this is my last antidote, so this has got to count. Actually, I didn't even need to do it because we just won. Again, this is why I love this game because yeah, I didn't have to do anything. I barely had to do anything. Alright, so, yeah, it's another cutscene, and yep, this is it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, this is the reason why I love the game. Like, I love the Gambit system. Um, like, just systematically programming what you need your characters to do, and then go into battle and just watch them do it. I mean, he's got a point there. <laughs> okay, whatever. <sighs> Excuse me. He knows that what he does. All right, Katie. Yeah, I'm about to head off for the night too. As soon as this cutscene finishes, and I can save again. You know what? When I first played this game, I thought he was saying that Bothia was his brother, but he was actually talking to the other lizard guy. <laughs> That's his brother. The other lizard guy's his brother. Okay. Man, it's amazing. Colin can really just cause so much trouble. Man, yeah, Katie, you have a good evening again. I won't play the game when it comes out. I'm just saying. I'm gonna stream it, it's gonna be great. Well, I tell you, this is the clip. Oh, this. What? Huh? I brought you some of those flowers you like.
Well, I must have missed that part. I must have been talking to someone. I thought he was alive. That is unfortunate. Really was picking up on that mic. <sighs> All right, so we're here now in the sea. You're awake. I guess I am. Mm -hmm. Prison, where else? More a dungeon, but it's really all the same. <sighs> what? Not sound very good. Remember what curiosity killed? Just a friendly word of advice. This is all the water we've got. I'd save your strength if I were you. Is that a scar? Like he was there, like pulling an um, ingrown hair or something. You do pull ingrown hairs, right? I don't know. Alright, so let me get up to the save point. Alright, that will do it for me this evening. And of course, thank you, uh, Major Bot. Can't keep the positivity going. We're going over to YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and of course uh, the Discord. Yeah, I gotta go to work tomorrow, guys. I know, I know, I know. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me. This is a nice little extended preview again, like the Zodiac Age. As much as Jr. says I can't choose Final Fantasy Twelve. I am always going to choose Final Fantasy XII. It is my favorite Final Fantasy because of the combat system. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Jeff, for joining me in this extended look. Um, I'll probably be back, and it'll probably be jumping around because I want to play this game, and I will be definitely playing it off of stream. So I might come back and just say, hey, this is where I'm at now, and look at the stuff here. Um, but yeah, I should be back tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, with some Overwatch. Um, of course, we want to thank the host this evening for being here, um, giving us some loves. Um, so, yeah, Killer Fire, Mocha Jones, Sid, Meekler, Candyland 808, Tiny 415, Aero Dash 84, Real Millennium Group, Group Finch KC, Dr. Hannah Fury, Giggs, Babowski, Battery H, Lambo, Ryan, No Buddies, Armada 2029, Outcast 341, Spectre Sam 064, Spectre Sam 2, mm, excuse me, Rufio, Split Glock, all the way, JJ Dukes. The records Mac Master Game and Gomer Shaw and Hobbit Lord 2002. Thank you, all of you, for the host. I really do appreciate that. Uh, of course, you know, sharing in any small form helps out a little, helps a long way. I definitely, I wanted to give um, such shouts out to um, Dr. Hannah and um, Trip and Crutch for retweeting um, this evening's tweet for the show. Really do appreciate that. Um, of course, I want to thank everybody who came out. I know it was not Overwatch, so not everybody showed up. But then again, too, I'm starting to think that everybody who's also showing up for Overwatch is also playing Overwatch. Um, 
So there's that. But um, you know, it's nice to have the viewers and stuff like that. Um, um of course you can catch me each and every night for one hundred days of gaming starting at nine o'clock PM Eastern Daylight Time. Um over at twitch.tv slash major Linux, of course, um Hundred Days Gaming is a hundred day celebration of Extra Life and leading up to Extra Life's big day of play on November fourth. If you've not heard of Extra Life, Extra Life is a games based video um, is a games based charitable organization that's part of the Children's American Network where we play games, raise awareness, and raise funds for a local CMN hospital. Of course, if you'd like to help me out with that, boom, you go to el.majorshouse.com. That's where you go to um on my personal um Extra Life page, all one hundred percent of the uh, funds that I raise go to Duke Children's Hospital. Um, of course, if you'd like to participate, say, hey, how can I be a hero just like you? You can go to extra-life.org. That's where you can sign up, choose your local CMN hospital, and we can be raising funds for your local CMN hospital. All 100% of the proceeds that you raise go to your local CMN hospital. Does Nobody gets a cut. All 100% of the money that you raise goes to the hospital. It's fantastic. It's the illest, dopest, trillest thing you can be doing while playing video games. Um, of course, if you missed the streams, you can go over to youtube.com slash major Linux. That's where you can find all the archives and many other videos that I do. And for everything definitively Major Linux, go to MajorStyles.com. Um, follow me over at Twitter.com slash Major Linux. That's where I'll probably put up updates for the stream, seeing that, you know, it is a uh, seven days a week thing now. Um, schedules may change. Um, I have to be a little bit more flexible. Uh, speaking of which, again, I want to reiterate that Saturday, uh, the stream will be at a different time. We'll, will not be at 9 o'clock p.m. Um, I have some... I have a prior engagement that I need to go um, attend to with my wife, so that should be a thing. Um, yeah, I will let you guys know what time that's supposed to happen once I get some more information from my wife about when we're supposed to be going out and doing our thing. Um, but yep, yeah, so Twitter, with the High Hill Gamer, she's still going on, she'll still be going on for about half an hour, so I'm going to toss the host over to her. And then after she finishes, I guess let auto host do its thing. Uh, so, of course, you guys could have been anywhere in the world. You could have been watching any stream in the world. You could have been playing the game yourself. But shows to chill out with me with one of my favorite games, Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age on the PS4. Um, definitely check it. It's 50 bucks. Um, so, you know, hey, it's cheaper than a new release on the PS4. So, And hopefully it will come to PC. But, yeah, right now it's on the PS4. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. I really do appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I do appreciate that. And, of course, all of us, see you wonderful people out there. Love you, and peace out.